Hello and welcome as it is the uh, 8th day of December 2017. Hashtag crypto trading. Everything you do within your own risk and your own reward. My name is Derek and within this video I'm going to be going over Litecoin. A very small amount on PIVX. And just talk about my Vercoin strategy. Play the numbers game, really. So we'll start off within the weekly chart here. Of course, everything is within your own risk and own reward, but a lot of profits have been made within this crypto space game. And I've been talking pretty highly about Litecoin. It's one of my, it's my second highest holding outside of Bitcoin. And if Litecoin goes hog wild, it will become my highest holding. Of course, that depends on the market conditions of Bitcoin and such, but anyway, there's not much going on here other than after making an all-time high a few months ago it came back to the 18 average for about round 10 or so weeks uh, a few weeks ago it left it and continuation now breaking past all-time high resistance that's Jarrett barely leaving the 18 average have highs that's a pretty pretty strong statement pretty uh strong situation uh i don't know how hog wild or how large this move that should come into play will reach, but most certainly the uh, the buyers are in control. This looks like an early breakout stage chart, daily time frame, And the 18 average doing its thing again. Previous high it was important to hold and stay above this area. This is what it looks like to hold and stay above it. And when you see these little dips in here and they come back, that's, they never count. If you talk about this as a key area, it did hold that because the moves below never held for that long. Now let's insert the Bitcoin daily crossing. You see two big red candles down previous to today and today with a very large green candle about a 40% or so small push, literally small push. All it is is a move back to the 18 average after it fell from there. So it's at the previous level of support that it's been trading through in November. And as I state, markets go up faster than they go down. Two big red candle down days, one big great green candle up. What's a bigger number, two or one? What would be faster? It's I guess it did it again within such. And I sold some uh, Litecoin for Bitcoin on a couple different exchanges i mean i bought down in the bottom areas that button here so i might as well sell it up here which uh, i was able to i buy in every different i mean if, you, if litecoin's going down against well any of the currencies i traded against which is like four i'm gonna buy it for sure i got orders in everywhere uh, it's my biggest holding why would i not so that's why I sold some of it, but I also sold on another exchange, which was on Poloniex, because I need funds there, I need Bitcoin there. And other sites have way too high withdrawal fees. So the easiest way for me to withdraw Bitcoin is to buy stuff like Litecoin, move it over to a Poloniex and then sell it there and then there I can withdraw, which is what I did. So I, able, I was able to get some extra Bitcoin into my uh, hardware wallet as that was something I wanted to do I was able to do such and uh, that's just ways of getting around the fees because they only have 10,000 Satoshi fee compared to other places which is like 40,000 which is okay but still bad 100,000 I've seen I've seen 200,000 Satoshi fee just really too high for me to uh, try to use as a transfer unless I have to so I sold Litecoin against Bitcoin, but I trade Litecoin against a lot of things. This is what uh, I sold Litecoin against uh, other currencies. This is the list of them. I sold it for Bitcoin, the United States dollar tether, Monero, PIVX. I'm going to talk about that. XBY, ARK, Smart Cash, Ethereum, Pillar, NEO whatever BK cat is these are very low stakes for codes like this it's extremely low stakes Ethereum classic dash and Omis go these are the things I bought today for of course that of Litecoin now my most notable interesting trade of the bunch is the following 
And I'm going to talk about the Litecoin crossing with PIVX. And what I was doing at around 11.50 in the morning, I was going over all of my buy orders of all the altcoins that I sold for Litecoin. I'm thinking, am I going to be selling like 50 different <laughs> different codes? And this was crazy. And then all of a sudden, message popped up twice over a span of under two minutes. You have sold 16 PIVX. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, PIVX must really be pumping if it's selling off against Litecoin of all things. Okay, well, and then I see it again. I'm thinking, is this Bittrex all over? Because Bittrex seems to remind you over and over on the same orders that come in when they give you reminders. But after I was finished whatever prod, whatever code I was working on, I went right to the PIVX and noticed, by all means, I sold 32 at this price and I can buy it back at 40 or I tried to buy it back at 40 rather. And I did within like a second, meaning I put a buy order in top of the buy order list. So the profit made was 1.763 Bitcoin. There was a mistake made by me and not again this way because fool me once. Okay, well, that's to be expected in experience. I'm very new in trading the Litecoin market exchange. But what was the mistake? Well, let me show you. 40.042 was the buy. What I didn't do was actually go to the... Uh, the PIVX market to see what was going on there because not much was happening. Fair price was about 0 0.035. I could have bought this baby on another exchange and moved it over and got a little bit better of a deal. But I know next time in a weird situation like this, then I will just check further. And furthermore, when you're trading these types of markets with lower volume and participation, the amount of amazing buy and sells that can come through like OMG, amazingly good. I bought Descent yesterday or the day before. I think it was might have been one of those two days. I think it was yesterday. Yes, it was at 3000 Satoshi, a code trading several times, several layers higher than such. But anyway, there's often times you will get them coming through. And this was one of those times where I don't know why someone would have spent two and a half times, three times the fair price, especially when I consider what I should have done rather than buying at 402, rather than even going to a site like Bittrex and buying it and move transferring it, which is easy enough for me to do there. I should have put a buy order in for about 0.03. Man, everything right now is selling off within this, or I'm buying it, so I'm selling Litecoin, that is, within the exchanges. I could have maybe bought back, well, a better price anyway. So let me move on to the PIVX chart to uh, show you a gander. And it's got an up session, not quite to the 18 average of lows in the previous resistance area in which it has faced but when not uh, the, the way that you do it is you find out what the ratio is to whichever coin in this case Litecoin to Bitcoin which has moved back to about 115 to 1 so you multiply this price by 115 that's the Litecoin price within Ethereum you take the Ethereum to uh, Bitcoin ratio then you multiply a Bitcoin price price by that such and that would be the ethereum price within its tracking all right then so ethereum's doing well a lot of altcoins are i haven't checked too too many of them out but let's uh move on forward to uh no, i was gonna say civic but uh i did have a recent few trades of that the uh, last night so just because i thought of it let me just quickly look at civic i don't know why I think I traded against the Ethereum or Monero exchange. And uh, then we'll take a look at uh, Veritcoin. And first it's chart against a Bitcoin on the daily, which keeps going lower, which means it's an to me it's an amazing buy to get in with more accumulation phases going lower. 
or this baby is on its way to nothing but it's definitely overextended to the downside and I did buy this against Ethereum I got in on the 65 handle which was a test of the previous support level and in situations like this technical analysis is extremely easy either you're buying at a relative key low or it shouldn't go much lower or we have the failed breakout on the December rally, which should have a decent leg lower. So where do you buy next? Significantly lower from where it was. That's the best answer that I can always give for if we look at this low in here, you can see here at least into here is a significant enough of a move. Or if you're just going a small hair below it, you're probably in a poor buy situation. Let's now take a look at Vertcoin and we'll first take a look across within the US fiat currency. And this is pretty nice where we are seeing a level of support back in the area in which it came from. Also finding support within the 18 average of lows. So therefore right now it's at least holding and staying above that key point which is very important for it to do so especially because the breakout was small and that's what you expect on a break of a key point at least more times than not cryptos could sometimes go way way higher without such but anyway you have a break of the resistance level up you go and then you come back to the band you start to see price action in around here and there's a good chance that this thing is ready to go for a good leg higher above previous high Let's take a look at this priced in Bitcoin. It's holding in there on its uh, daily chart, but finding uh, support from where it came from is going, coming into play, lifting off from this area a bit. Let me reduce the amount of periods so we can see each candle better. And within such, after two large red candles down, just one green candle up, but of well, almost the size of yesterday's. Now Litecoin, of course, was able to get its losses back in two days against such, but nonetheless, the holding of that level is important. And now that it's made an area towards this uh, point, does it have further momentum towards uh, this level here? Possibly and probably. But you still need to see a break a nice break above this 18 average. Now within such, it's from the sideways move. In here it had a break, but it sold off quickly. There's a situation where it didn't work out so well, although you were able to get out for break even or small gain. And if you're still holding it, you're not down too much. If you're able to get in on this level, all you were able to get were the smallest of profits if you were even able to get them. But same philosophy again, if you buy and hold on the long term, it works out. See, this is why I don't like to trade with this type of mechanism because I've had so many situations where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy in here on the break and something like this happens. I really, and I don't do it too. I'd, well, I'd do it now and again, don't get me wrong, but more often than not, it's going to be because of placing buy orders. And I have been selling, I think two sets of VTC today or in the last 24 hours, 12 hours rally, rather, because I was buying in these lower ends and able to sell up towards these higher points. Now my strategy for doing such is the following. I am 100% using the buy low, sell high strategy that I've talked about. For more information, do a, a YouTube search for money charts back in time. I go through about five or so different codes in which uh, you just buy and sell using uh, these types of, uh, well, of just putting buy and sell orders. And now I have a lot of share sizes, so I have a lot of sell orders. Now I buy on Bittrex because the transfer fees of 0 0.02 Vertcoin with the current approximate market value of about 17 cents makes it extremely easy to uh, put my buy orders in from there and then transfer them over to Poloniex where I can put my sell orders there and the transfer fees are 10,000 Bitcoin Satoshi and at $15,000 Bitcoin price that's $1.50 
So I'm going to be looking to do more selling on Poloniex. It's going to be like a selling machine for me there for Bitcoin. As it's uh, it's got the lower fees. Now, unfortunately, I have unable been unable to find a Litecoin, Ethereum, or a Monero market yet for Veritcoin, which surprises me. But still, it is what it is. The only way that I can trade it is on either, as far as I know, Poloniex or Bittrex. And of course, I'm doing it on both and within the Bitcoin exchange. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.